Lucy, I was just reading this letter. You want to hear it? Yeah. Okay. It says, I'm starting to feel guilty about something I've done and I need your advice. I know that it's wrong to take things that don't belong to me, but my friends told me that if I wanted to stay friends with them, I had to take a candy bar from the store. So I did, and I did it only once. And now every time we walk by that store, they want me to take another candy bar. What do I do? Oh, that sounds not good, huh? Uh -uh. What would you do? Would you take another candy bar? No. No. I wouldn't even take a candy bar. I know. So it doesn't sound like the right thing to do. No. When we do the wrong thing, it's called sin. Do mm -hmm. you know what sin is? Yeah. Okay. So in the by so if you're having a problem where you want to figure something out, this kid wrote to Nehemiah from the Bible, but what do you do when you need to like you need some help figuring something out? Mm, I go to my room mm -hmm. and I because my room is basically really quiet, you know, mm -hmm. and I read my Bible and okay. pray. Yes, that's what I do too. I look to the Bible to see what God says and I pray. And I ask God to give me some wisdom or to help me with my problems because I can depend on him. Okay, so it says in the Bible, to repent from sin means to turn away from it. Okay, when we sin, we do the wrong things and we need to turn to God to seek forgiveness. So in today's Bible passage, we're going to learn about a man who knew it was important to go to God for forgiveness. And his name was Nehemiah. Remember I mentioned it. That's who the letter was written to. Because mm -hmm. Nehemiah was really wise and he knew he needed to go to God. So he, need, he knew he needed to go to God and he knew he needed to choose to obey God. Um, we'll learn what happens when we seek God for forgiveness. So let's find out some more. You want to? Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, first, before we go any further, I'm going to read to you. The Bible verse for the week. So the Bible this week, we're reading from Nehemiah. And Nehemiah is in the Old Testament, and it's right after Ezra. Like, so you just turn, 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 and then you go to you go to Ezra. You go to First Chronicles, Second Chronicles, Ezra. Okay, and then it's Nehemiah. And we're reading Nehemiah 1 through 2, 9. And we're going to find out this story about Nehemiah. Okay? okay, this is my favorite part. Okay, Nehemiah prays to the Lord. Um, these are the words of Nehemiah. He was the son of Hakaliah. Hmm, these names, sometimes I mess them up. I was in the fort of Susa. I was there in the 20th year that Artaxerxes was king. It was in the month of Kislev. At that time, Hanani came from Judah with some other men. He was one of my brothers. I asked him and the other men about the Jews who were left alive in Judah. They returned from Babylon. I also asked him about Jerusalem. Hmm, I wonder what happened in Jerusalem. He and the men with him said to me, some of the people who returned are still alive. They are back in the land of Judah, but they are having a hard time. They are ashamed. The wall of Jerusalem is broken down. Its gates have been burned with fire. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. Mm -hmm. When I heard about these things, I sat down and wept for several days. I was very sad. I didn't need any food and I prayed to God of heaven. I said, Lord, you are the God of heaven. You are, the, you are a great and wonderful God. You keep the covenant you made with those who love you and obey your commandments. You show them your love. Please pay careful attention to my prayer. See how your people are suffering. Please listen to me. I'm praying to you day and night. I'm praying for the people of Israel. We Israelites have committed sins against you. All of us admit it. I and my family have also sinned against you. We've done some very evil things. We haven't obeyed the commands, rules, and laws you gave our servant Moses. So right there, He's turning to God and he's um he's confessing his what? His sins. sins. Yeah, he's confessing his sins and his family's sins. So mm -hmm. it's a good thing to do. So mm -hmm. he's wise. He's wise. Remit, let's see what happens. 
Remember what you told him, you said. If you people are not faithful, I will scatter you among the nations. But if you return to me, I will bring you back. If you obey my commands, I will gather you together again. I will bring you back from the farthest place on earth. I will bring you to the special place where I have chosen to put my name. Lord, they are my people. They serve you. You are you... You used your great strength and mighty hand to set them free from Egypt. Lord, please pray, pay careful attention to my prayer. Listen to the prayers of all of us. We take delight in bringing honor to your name. Give me success today when I bring my request to King Artaxerxes. I was the king's wine taster. Artaxerxes sends Nehemiah to Jerusalem. Wine was brought in for King Artaxerxes. It was the month of Nisan, in the 20th year of his rule. I got the wine and gave it to him. I hadn't been in front of him before, but now I was. So the king asked me, why are you looking so sad? Why was he sad? Do you remember? Um, he was sad the wall was because burnt the wall and destroyed. was burnt and destroyed. Yes, and you aren't sick. You, you must be feeling very sad. I was really afraid. But I said to the king, may you live forever. Why shouldn't I look sad? The city where my people of long ago were buried has been destroyed and fire has burned up its gates. Would you be sad if your city was destroyed? Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. The king said to me, what do you want? I prayed to God of heaven. Then I answered the king, are you pleased with me, King Artaxerxes? Ar Ar if, if, it, if it pleases you, send me to Judah. Let me go to the city of Jerusalem. That's where my people are buried. I want to rebuild it. The queen was sitting beside the king. He turned and asked me, how long will your journey take? When will you get back? I pleased, it pleased the king to send me. So I chose a certain time. I also said to him, if it pleases you, may I take some letters with me? I want to give them to the governors of the land west of the Euphrates River. Um, then they'll help me travel safely through their territory until I arrive to Judah. May I also have a letter of Asaph. He takes care of the royal park. I want him to give me some logs so I can make beams out of them. I want to use them as gates to the fort um, that is by the temple. Some of the logs will also be used in the city wall. And I'll need some for the house I'm going to live in. God was kind to me and helped me, so the king gave me what I asked for. Then I went to the governors of the land west of the Euphrates River, and I gave them the king's letters. He had also sent army officers and horsemen along with me. So, Nehemiah was so sad, and he was so upset, and he prayed to God, and he asked for forgiveness. And what happened? Did God help him? Yes. Yes, God helped him which is so great because that's why we need to turn to God. So when Nehemiah heard that the walls around Jerusalem were in ruins, he knew what he knew he had to do something. The first thing he did was he seeked forgiveness, right? Mm -hmm. He did. Um, and he poured his heart out to God and he asked God to forgive them, mm -hmm. forgive the Jews. And he asked God to provide a way for him to go to Jerusalem to rebuild the walls. Hmm. And do you think God heard his prayers? Yes. Yes, he did. Because did the king help him? Yes. And that's what he was asking for, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, God helps Nehemiah return to Jerusalem and rebuild the walls. And that's what he did. Okay, next. Nehemiah wasn't a great leader and builder. He, was, he wasn't just a great leader. Let me, let me rephrase that. Nehemiah was a great leader and builder. Yes. But... He um, was also a person of prayer. He knew that when people rebel against God, the first thing to do is to seek God's forgiveness. And what do we do if, we, if we've done something wrong? We go. We seek God's forgiveness. We seek God's forgiveness. Yeah, can you all say that with me? Seek God's forgiveness. We seek God's forgiveness. Yes. We forgiveness. Seek, we seek God's, God's forgiveness. forgiveness. And then we commit to changing our ways. So we turn against what we've done bad and we change our ways, right? Yes. Okay. And we so, stay strong. And we stay strong. So <sighs> these letters people write Nehemiah. I understand why they write Nehemiah letters. These letters I found that I was reading at the beginning 
oh, I found some more. And so these people want help. I'm so, not listening to letters. I know. That's why I have you here with me today, Lucy. Okay, so <clears throat> let me read you a letter and we'll talk about it and figure mm -hmm. out the answer. Okay, dear Nehemiah. I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. My parents tell me how important it is to serve God, but lots of my friends say God isn't real. They laugh at me for being a Christian. My parents teach me what the Bible says and they tell me to obey God. My friends tell me the Bible isn't true and that I can decide for myself what the right thing to do is. What my parents say sounds right, but I don't know. But I don't want my friends to laugh at me anymore. I sound like a wimp when I say I can't do something because the Bible says not to. And help! Troubled in Toledo. Okay. What do you think? I think that he, okay. I think that his friends are, they don't, believe in God and he does and he knows deep inside that like he he loves God and that his 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 friends are leading him down the wrong path well I think you're pretty wise Lucy I think that's right I think he's in a tough spot because yeah. friends are important aren't he they isn't, yeah friends are important but I think God is do you think God's more important yes why is God more important well, here's the thing. I know. <laughs> what do you well, think? Well, think the, I don't know his name. It's hard to say. Torn in Toledo. Torn in Toledo. Troubled in Toledo. Troubled in Toledo. Uh-huh. So, I feel like, um, well, he has to choose between God or his friends. I want him to ask himself this question. Who's more important, God or his friends? Yes. I, I hope he chooses. God. I hope he chooses God too because God is our creator. God is our Lord. He's and, our savior too. And savior. He, yes, he's our savior. Um, and so serving God is always the right thing to do. And it's going to be tough to follow through with it, don't you think? Mm -hmm. But what could he do to make sure his decision, like what, what could he do? He could turn to God and he could pray and he could read God's word, right? Right. And he can tell God about his struggles, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He should turn to God, read the Bible, see if there's anything that can help him, or if there's nothing, or he can just read it and then pray over yes, it, or something and, like that. And he can ask God for strength, mm -hmm. and then he can depend on him to give him his strength, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what he could do. He could pray to God and read his Bible and ask God for strength. And I bet his his troubles will get easier. What do you think? Yes. I think so, too. Are you ready for another letter? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Oh, dear De Nehemiah, I know the Bible says we're supposed to serve God and do whatever he wants us to do, but I like to make my own decisions. Don't we all? Yes, but it's, we it's really hard. It's, sometimes we just don't know what the best is for us. Okay. And so sometimes I, let's finish reading the, the letter. <laughs> sometimes I feel I know what's good for me better. Hold on, it's a two page letter. Better than God does. I know God's been telling me he wants me to pray more and spend more time reading the Bible. I know it's the right thing to do, but I just want to have fun with my friends. I don't want to be all serious about religion. I figure that I'll have time to serve God when I grow up. Right now is the time to have fun and do what I want to do. But I feel guilty about disobeying God. How do I stop feeling guilty? Okay. Guilt ridden, guilt ridden in Augusta. That's who okay. wrote that one. So I feel like he should. He's being kind of what? What's that word where we don't do what we're supposed to do? Real rebellious. He's being a little rebellious, right? Uh huh. He's rebelling against God, and mm -hmm. that's what the Jews did. He's disobeying God. Yes, he's rebelling against God. But that's what the Jews did. How did it turn out for the Jews? Mm, they didn't really like their decision. No, it didn't turn out. Say that. It didn't turn out the best for the Jews. Mm -mm. Um, and they regretted it. And the Bible tells us that God wants us to serve Him and Him alone. Right? So that's where it comes in, reading and praying. 
Um, God isn't pleased when we rebel against him. You'll never have peace when you live in rebellion, huh? Mm -hmm. But if you know God wants you to do something, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to turn to him. and You're supposed to do it, right? Yeah, you're supposed if to you know, turn and do it. If you know he wants you to do something, you're supposed to do it right then. Yes. 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 So you need to turn to God and confess your sin and ask God to help you. Then... This kid should obey God, right? Uh -huh. I mm -hmm. have a good... Um, and his guilt. Do you think his guilt will go away if he yeah. obeys God? I have a good thing to tell him. What? He should read the Bible more. He should pray more. And he should just... Listen. Listen. And sometimes mm -hmm. people think sometimes God makes us, gets, makes us do it. Like, makes us happen. Like, makes this happen. Like... A bad thing but then like it turns out to lead to a good thing okay so this kid should definitely turn to God and pray mm -hmm. that's the best thing to do right mm -hmm. and then we'll figure out yes okay so that's all the time we have today for Sunday school we miss seeing you in person don't we yes yes but what I want you to do this week you're gonna do this okay I, know. I think you should write a letter write a letter to God Telling him a problem you have. Mm -hmm. Do you think you can do it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. I think you can. And it'll make you feel better, huh? Yeah. And it what? will make you feel way better. Yes, and then you just listen. Okay, so let's close in prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for all that you do for us. And help us to remember, dear Lord, to turn to you and to read your word and to confess our sins to you, dear Lord. And dear Lord, we just love you. Amen. Okay, write those letters, and we miss you, and we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye.